Hey, how's it going? I thought it might be worth to take a look at uh, some of the publications recently that was published on the uh, UK's government's website. I thought it might be worth uh, taking a look at some of those. Well, I'm gonna be reading those. I thought it might be just more you know, sharing some of that information out there and everything what's happening uh, in some of those places. Uh, if anything, that's the government's website, so some of that information should be accurate, I guess. <laughs> At least it should hope out to be accurate, right? Uh, some of those articles was published yesterday, something that I was taking a look at. And then it has to deal with trade with the US, what it has to deal with uh, some of the arms sales happening to Russia, as well as uh, within this article, we're going to be taking a look at 100 million uh, worth of uh, pounds, or perhaps credits. Uh, <laughs> We have so money, we won't gonna exchange hands, but we will let's delve a little bit deeper to try and understand what this is all. Uh, article is all about four. Uh, would be all that money would be given for countries to tackle climate change and everything what's happening. Uh, let's delve a little bit deeper. I haven't read this article, I thought it uh, <laughs> would share some of the opinions and some following everything that's happening. And uh, some of the announcements made, but uh, let's try to understand a little bit deeper. Uh, the UK's government announced measures to support climate vulnerable countries and joins calls for bolder action on climate adoption. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's try to understand what uh, they gone uh, or plan of doing it. Seems they're constantly releasing uh, many different projects where business can uh, take part in, in supporting reduction of, so I don't know how it's gonna work, right? Uh, there's gonna be three parts. First one, uh, 100 million pounds of UK's funding will help climate vulnerable populations adapt to climate change, okay? Next one would be at uh, COP28 summit today, the UK will call for bolder action to fight the impact climate change is in, uh, having on health. Good, so the, they recently have that one. A summit where they address so, so many different issues. Some of the uh, massive polluters, <laughs> that would be China and US haven't uh, taken or have taken part within this summit, right? So they haven't taken part in it, so one of the top uh, polluters, right? If anything, it's good that UK did something, right? <laughs> they, because if they would take a part, that would be <laughs> perhaps other polluters would need to pay a lot. If, if they're polluting, I, I don't know all the details, right? And how accurate some of the information is. If they do something, perhaps they could do it better, right? So what's happening, right? Uh, COP28 is a global summit where they're discussing uh, climate change, right? So perhaps UK pledged to support some of those countries and uh, all in the different ways, right? Uh, perhaps uh, later on, I might be taking a look at some of those ways or some of those projects, how they're looking to do is solve some of those problems, right? So it's a good announcement, I guess. A package that contributes towards the uh, 1.6 billion of climate aid announcement by Prime Minister on Friday. 1.6 billion a year ago, a year ago, so that's a massive payment. Uh, <laughs> now, perhaps that would be enough to make a difference. <laughs> but perhaps it's not, it's not supposed to be only UK doing it. I don't know about other countries, but some of those top economists out there, right? So perhaps uh, more action should be taken to address some of those climate issues. But again, uh, what on, uh, if we're gonna go delve a little bit more in detail and address some of those projects that's happening, it's something I'm perhaps gonna be doing in future videos and how that money would be allocated. It's something uh, that I'm more interested in. other than perhaps 1.6 billion. Doesn't really mean that much other than uh, if they would make anything or there would be just a bandage, I guess, <laughs> which doesn't mean anything other than wasted money. The UK's government will make commitments to help vulnerable countries straighten their resilience to the increasingly frequent and severe effects of climate change at the COP28 summit on Sunday, 3rd of December. So it's something that happened already, so last Sunday, right? Uh, to what and when I'm reading this announcement, right? 
I have uh, taken a look at the summit and everything what uh, what's happening within the summit. <laughs> I I have taken notice, right? <laughs> International Development and uh, Africa Minister Andrew Mihel will announce 300 million pounds to support some of the most climate vulnerable countries to tackle climate change. This will support an initiative to strengthen early warning systems in countries on the front lines of climate change, giving people advance warnings of cyclones, flooding and other extreme weather so they can move away from danger, saving lives and protecting vulnerable countries, okay? The funding will also help make health care in those areas more resilient and able to withstand disasters like floods and uh, ready to deal with spikes in infection diseases like, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I don't want this video to be flagged. <laughs> I don't know any of those diseases, right? Uh, recognizing the urge of the situation with across 26 million in uh, poverty every year, the government will also join calls for bolder collective action to protect the lives, healthier and livelihoods of those most impacted by climate change. So we're looking to address all the important issues. This support for Prime Minister announced major funding for climate projects, the strengthened need of ambitious, innovative and pragmatic action. Okay, so it's a big issue. It's a big <laughs> problem, right? Uh, myself, from a business perspective, perhaps there might be a lot of opportunities out there for different businesses uh, to support some of those countries, right? I have seen a number of those. I have taken part in a number of those where they would uh, announce uh, funds available for businesses to support some of those uh, developing countries by offering uh, products or services, right? Or developing very interesting products or services. Not necessarily limited to climate change, but that would be important. So again, perhaps this particular fund is something that I have covered recently. Would, uh, that would be energy generators, right? Where would be potentially zero carbon, right? Uh, energy Z gen is something that, that's uh, one of those initiatives that was called, right? It's something that I covered already. There's gonna be a number of those, uh, perhaps announcing, if not right now, perhaps in the future where they're going to be able to take a look at uh, perhaps different businesses and how they can invent new ways of addressing some of those problems. Perhaps the, the, uh, this one, uh, most recent one, would be urgent problems, but I think all of those problems are important, right? And it should not be overlooked. Uh, powering those hospitals, making sure those uh, hospitals who stay generate uh, electricity would be there and generators within those uh, hospitals and how some of those stopped even giant companies within the US, right? How we're looking to move away from diesel power generators uh, to perhaps different type of generators. But uh, there was uh, recently something <laughs> myself trying to understand how they moved away from diesel into different power generators as well as how uh, uh, similar things can be done in some of those countries and from there perhaps into, uh, I don't know, interesting people doing interesting things, I don't know how long it would take to adapt some of those technology and how what would be cost effective way of doing it since it might be very costly. <laughs> Hopefully not. There's some projects in the Netherlands where they have launched recently, I think it was last year or so, where they're powering some of those hospitals with uh, solar panels as well as uh, if uh, the, the surplus of solar power, uh, power energy, they could uh, generate uh, hydrogen green hydrogen and uh, a green hydrogen can power the hospital so but there's interesting projects so so perhaps that some of the funding can be allocated to, to supporting some of those projects itself if you're interested perhaps there might be some opportunities coming later uh, yourself if you're interested in learning more i have published a journal within the journal i'm sharing a lot of information with the people who are looking to develop a habit, working on the routines. Once you have a feeling that you want to do more or perhaps do things differently, you should take actions on that feeling. But that feeling perhaps won't gonna last. What would last perhaps having a habit? To work out your habit and to have one and developing your habits that will last would uh, require you a uh, time period. Usually it could be about 70 days, but I have developed so it would be 90 days. If you were to pick up this journal, well, if you were to work from cover to cover, that would give you enough time to develop a habit. 
uh, every page is a 24 hour window and what you would need to do with every window that would be particular areas which I personally believe are very important if you were to start with those areas and you can build on top of those areas later and improve what you think would be important but not in the beginning if you were to pick up start with what's there <laughs> you can find it in QR code in the corner and comment the subscribe below Uh, there's a lot of background information and a lot of details of perhaps how this uh, uh, money would be allocated and some of those projects, right? But uh, I, don't, I don't know uh, most of those things. I'm not supported by any of those things. <laughs> I was just reading some of the information that was published on the government website. I'll leave a link in the description if you like to understand a little bit more about uh, how this money most likely would be allocated. and. Uh, perhaps a future project, right? Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one